This is all I have left, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get any more. I'm not even certain if I have enough for this project, but it's not doing any good just sitting on the shelf. So let's just make something and see what happens. And the last of the local fiber mills had a magical machine that transformed waste wool into rug yarn. So I brought them a pile of fiber destined for the compost heap because it was too fragile or cluttered with detritus for spinning. What came back was pure magic. The core of the yarn is cotton twine wrapped in a thick layer of fiber and boy is it soft. The picking and carding removed most of the detritus but a bit of farm remains. We'll call it rustic. I'm using Ashford Cotton Tapestry Yarn for the warp and I'll make the set wide at 4 EPI, that's 4 yarns per inch. That way the core spun can cover the weft for a weft faced fabric. Measuring the warp goes quickly. I tie the cross to keep things organized, then dress the loom. I start by spreading the warp on the rattle wind it onto the warp beam, thread it through the heddles and then the reed. Well, you get the idea. Now, to start weaving. Many of the local farmers consider wool to be an expensive waste product. The sheep need shearing every year and this costs money and time. And even if or when they know where to market their wool, the amount they get for it isn't worth it. There's no easy place locally to sell the fiber and to ship it to the bigger mills. It requires large volumes and a lot of expense so that quite often it's more expensive to send the fiber to the mill than what they get paid for it. So a dirty secret is that most of the wool locally gets composted or just burnt or just wasted and with machines like this, wool can have value again. But alas, the mill's gone now and despite the beauty of these rugs made from this yarn, I don't know if we'll ever see it again. The fiber in this yarn is a mixture of alpaca, llama, and wool from the dirtiest animals on the farm. And the mill mixed the natural colors to have it change slowly in the yarn. Now this is why I do so little dyeing. The animals grow beautiful colors on their own. There's very little I can do to add to that. As these are the scrag ends of the yarn from other projects, I'm switching between cones at random and hope the stripes look good. What do you think? Did it work? It's addictive watching the colors grow on the cloth. Curious how the next one will look and it's fast to weave. I'm not a fan of fringes on a rug so I'll weave a bit more with the cotton yarn and hem the ends by hand. 